What's good, y'all? I got no witty puns, no long-winded intros. I just came up here to make fun of yet again another pathetic prankster. As usual, prank content is one of the most annoying forms of content on the planet, and today's video should highlight that even more. Let's just roll the tape. Say, can you get off your phone? What you mean, what? This is my shit. I don't like people on their phone on my shit. You know where you at? Y'all know where I'm at. Yeah, this is my city. That's oh. what I'm saying. So you need to back your ass up, get off your phone. Where the fuck you going? Come outside. Come outside. I'm going to show you something. Come outside. Wow. So on today's episode of the Peanut Gallery, this prankster is someone that I'm sure a lot of you uh, have seen before. She has over a million followers, uh, a million plus followers on TikTok. But her prank videos are more annoying than Roger from Sister Sister. This chick goes by the name Lexi, and she's been doing pranks like this for a while now, and every video is more cringe than the last one. Every time I see her videos pop up on my timeline, I just, I, like, I gotta, I gotta put my hands over my eyes. I gotta, like, shut my eyes and look away, you know, like I'm in, like I'm in the movie Bird Box or some shit, right? And I'm not trying to look at the light. But anyway, you can clearly see her start this video off just straight up demanding this woman to get off her phone. Mind you, she doesn't know this woman personally. Now, the interesting part about this video specifically is that the woman that she's harassing is actually a reality TV celebrity by the name of Scarface. Now, her real name is Etheria, I think is her name. But to many of you who watch trash reality TV shows, and a lot of you would recognize her as Scarface from the TV show Baddies East. Many of you also may know her reality TV cohort, the infamous Krishan Rock. Now, I'm going to be honest here. I don't and have never watched the TV show Baddies, and I don't ever plan on it. My wife doesn't even watch that shit. And the only reason why I'm even familiar with Scarface, Krishan, fucking Natalie Nunn, Roly, Sukiyana, is because they swarm my timeline like locusts, right? Like there's something out of the fucking Bible. Like they swarm my fucking shit like, like, like gnats, like mosquitoes. And I see them on every blog and they're just up and down social media all day long. Like I couldn't get away from them if I tried. And trust me, I have. Like I've even gone as far as to mute and block the names of some of these chicks on Twitter because I just couldn't stand to see or hear about them anymore. Like it was that deep for me. But anyway, I'm getting carried away. So in this video, Lexi is trying to prank her by being rude as hell and yelling at her to get off her phone. Then when she walks away and basically, you know, shoes her away like the annoying little gnat that she is and tries to walk away from the situation, this prankster yells at her and basically tells her, you know, says, where are you going? And tells her to come outside, you know, like she's a fucking drill sergeant. Now, that is where this prankster fucked up, because apparently from what I was seeing while looking this story up, apparently it's not even really a story. It's just something that I, that I saw. I wanted to share with y'all. But, you know, Scarface here can fight because the whole point of a show like Baddies is to essentially showcase these women going through gladiator school because they're fighting each other, slapping each other, scratching, clawing. You know, they fight more on that show than UFC and boxing put together. I mean, they 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 are about it on that show, from what I can tell. But say all that to say that this is a battle that this prankster doesn't want. Come outside. I don't give a fuck who you are. Come outside. Come outside. Come outside. Let me let me talk to you out, out here. Yeah, I got something to tell you. Hey, I'm looking for a McDonald's. Can you tell me where it's at? Bitch, fuck McDonald's. You want a happy meal? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'll make you happy, bitch. Look at that, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. That is like a Jimmy Neutron brain level clapback right there. He tells the prankster after she says to her that she's looking for a McDonald's, which doesn't make any fucking sense, but whatever. She's looking for a McDonald's and you know, Scarface says that she can give her a happy meal. She'll make her happy. All right. <laughs> now, I understand what she's getting at with that attempt at a threat, but that Loki sounds like more of an invitation for like a massage or something like <laughs> that sounds like you trying to give a little happy ending or something. Like, you know, you, you a little love me long time or something like, you know, looking for the right one. I'm looking for a McDonald's. I don't know who the fuck you thought you was playing with. But wait, wait, chill out. Wait, it's a video. What Relax. You about, bitch? What you mean what I'm talking about? I told you what I'm talking about. It's a video. I'm not even going to lie to you, man. 
That jab was crazy. <laughs> that jab looked like something out of Floyd Mayweather's book. I mean, that jab was vicious, boy. Like, she almost connected on that shit right there. Clearly, Scarface ain't playing with this chick. And I don't know if this prankster understands that she almost got put to the canvas real quick. Like, she almost got put to sleep. Side note here, that skirt is riding super high. Like, I can see, I can see how double-cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon she is very clearly i mean it, it it's very short is the point that i'm trying to get to like i mean I, I i feel like you know both both cheeks are like you know in my face at this point like it's, it's crazy i can damn near see camel toe so scarface i don't know if anybody told you that but you know if they didn't that's what i'm here for <laughs> what do you mean Video listen video. don't tell me what to what do video? i don't give bitch, a fuck what you fuck. talking about no, fuck, no, you. Tell me, bitch. fuck you bitch, come fuck, fuck you fuck you you not like that you not like that you not like that or not. what what you gonna do what, what? Gonna do? what's up wait it's a video it's a video it's a video look it's a camera right here it's a video i do youtube it's a video you good i do youtube i got a million subscribers that's pretty much all i care to show you you know, just for the sake of you and, and, and my sanity, I won't show you anymore, but it's obvious that everybody ain't playing. And, you know, I, I've kind of seen this. And so let, let's just throw it out there. Let's just say that, let's just say that in the off chance that this is scripted, right? Or it, it, it isn't real or whatever. This type of content still sucks, right? Like, like my point still stands. And the only people that actually enjoy and encourage this, this bullshit and ag it on are legitimately like 11 and 12 year olds that think that if I go up to them and say, Ooh, got your nose and put it behind my back, like they really think that their nose is gone. Like that's the kind of demographic that we talking about here. The fact that people are still even making prank content like this is still unbelievable to me. Like I thought we left that back in like 2015, man. This is like low level like low vibrational stuff and the fact that pranksters like this make a living going around to complete strangers to try and purposely make people's lives just a little bit more stressful for absolutely no reason other than internet clout and brownie points from kids online is even more sad we know that nobody above the age of 15 is watching this stuff but ultimately we know we're engaging in foolishness like this goes and the fact that people are still willing to lose all self-respect and dignity all in the hopes of going viral is insane to me. But that's all I got to say on this. You know, it's unfortunate, too, because, you know, I'm looking at this shit and I'm seeing, you know, the people in the background walking by, you know, and it's just they looking at it like, you know, it's almost like they're not even shocked. You know, they're not even they're not even shocked. Just crazy, man. But this just just making fun of another prankster as usual. Let me know what you thought about this. This craziness in the comments. But before you go, don't forget to smack that like button. It's free. You here? You might as well do it. And don't forget to subscribe for the one time. Peace.